An unbelievable finish at the Quail Hollow Championship. Roy McElroy makes history. Settle in as we rewind the week with the latest edition of Monday Backspin from PGATour.com. He's the youngest player to win on tour since Tiger Woods. What an incredible tournament and finish for young Roy McElroy. Hello everyone, I'm Casey Black. At the ripe old age of 20, Roy McElroy wins for the first time on tour, shooting a final round Sunday, 62, 10 under par to wind up 15 under for the tournament. With a 42-foot putt on the 18th for birdie, Roy McElroy smashed the course record by two strokes and became the youngest player to win at Quail Hollow. If you could believe, heading into the weekend, McElroy was one over par at the time, barely making the cut, and was nine shots off the lead starting out on Saturday morning. The Northern Irishman, who turns 21 on Tuesday, shot a bogey-free final round, which included eight birdies and one eagle in the par 5 15th Kodak Challenge Hole. Two of his birdies came on the 16th and the 18th, part of the Green Mile, a trio of finishing holes considered some of the hardest on tour. You know, ever since I was you know, 10 or 11 years old, I wanted to be a professional golfer, and you know, it's it's been a it's been a crazy ride until this point, and um, yeah, I'm I'm just delighted to get here and to get my first win in the U.S. is very special, and to do it on a golf course like this is is even better. McElroy's best finish on tour to this point since turning professional was a tie for third at the 2009 PGA Championship. McElroy is the youngest to win on tour since Tiger Woods when he won the Children's Miracle Network Classic in 1996. And for a while there, it really was a fight to the finish. A couple of major champions were nipping right at McElroy's heels. Phil Mickelson, coming off a win at the Masters, shot a respectable final round four under 68 to finish in solo second at 11 under par. Lefty was hoping to accomplish a feat that only Tiger Woods has done, and that's not only to win before claiming a major championship title, but also to win after a major. And 2009 Masters champion Angel Cabrera wound up in solo third after shooting a four under 68 to end up 10 under for the tournament. And perhaps one of the biggest headlines of the week came on Friday when Tiger Woods missed the cut for only the sixth time of his professional career. Ending up the week nine over par, Tiger Woods was forced to pack his bags early. Besides Quail Hollow, Tiger has only missed five other cuts out of 240 starts. The most recent was last year at the 2009 British Open, where he shot an opening round 71, followed by a 74. Michael Collins is in Quail Hollow with more on a look back at the week. Michael? What an amazing championship. Quail Hollow did it again. And they do it year after year after year. This is why when you ask every tour player that comes out here, they want to play in this event. One, spectacular golf course. Two, the way that the players and caddies are taken care of. Now, what am I going to take away from this tournament this week? Mm. It had everything. It had absolutely everything in it. It had a guy who wasn't even supposed to be here. Billy Mayfair wasn't supposed to be here. He was supposed to be playing the Nationwide Tour event. He actually flew overnight and just barely made his Monday qualifying time and then qualified, got here, and went into Sunday with the lead. But i tell you what, Players' Championship's coming up, the fifth major. Everybody will tell you, and every guy on tour, if there's one regular PGA Tour event that you're going to win, which is it? <laughs> Seriously? You know where it is. Ponte Vedra Beach, TPC Sawgrass. That's what it's all about right there. And that tournament is going to be off the hook. If I tell you, one tournament you're going to go see on tour, go over there and check the players out. Just hang out around 16 green and 17 T and watch the action there because it is bananas. Thank you, Michael. The next stop on the PGA Tour, TPC Sawgrass, home of the Players' Championship. Our live special coverage begins Wednesday night at 4.30 Eastern time. And then beginning on Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern, we'll have four days of live coverage of the 13th and 17th holes at TPC Sawgrass. And remember, for live scoring and video updates anytime, right at your fingertips, head to PGATour.com.